Ever since President Trump was elected the left has been doing all they can to create a scandal that would bring Trump down. For starters, the left and the mainstream media concocted the fake Russian collusion story to explain Trump's epic win over Hillary Clinton. Then they lost their minds when President Trump had two scoops of ice cream while everyone had one scoop at a White House dinner. Now, they are all up in arms over Trump supposedly calling the White House a dump, but whether Trump did say this or not, he has every right to after what was just found. It seems that whatever President Trump does it triggers liberals and the mainstream media to fly into an epic meltdown, and the recent White House renovations are no different. After the Obamas resided in the White House for eight long years the People's House has fallen into disrepair and is crawling with roaches and vermin. Now, while the die-hard Obama bots will try and deny this fact, the numerous articles written about it in the past proves it is true. The Atlantic reported back in 2013 how bad the roach and vermin problem was in the 213 old building. Martha Joint Kumar, a professor of political science at Towson University recounted her brush with the nasty bug. It was the size of a small drone, I wanted to bag it so that the GSA would know what kind of issue we had, I chased it. But it got away behind some wiring. Also, WhiteoutPress.com reported on Barack Obama's repulsive roach infestation back in 2013. But one would think that the most powerful man in the richest country in the world could stop cockroaches, rats, and mice from taking over his home. Carter had mice. Bush had rats. And Obama has cockroaches. Perhaps it's fitting that the entire White House press pool, the members of the media assigned to cover the president by their respective news outlets, are the main victims of the current cockroach problem. They spun their stories to help get Barack Obama elected and they're even dedicated enough to censor the latest vomit-inducing episode just to spare the administration some embarrassment. Even former Obama security spokesman Tommy Vieta told Politico that there were big bug issues in the White House. We had bug zappers going 24-7, it's the best office I will ever have, but that building is old and the infrastructure needs constant improvement. Also, liberal CNN briefly touched on the constant pest problem at the White House and stated that there was a persistent common house fly problem which has been a distraction during key meetings with senior officials. Not only were roaches found throughout the White House, but there is also a huge house fly issue there as well. If you remember all during Obama's administration he had an uncanny way of attracting the nasty bugs no matter where he went. That was noticed even before he was elected as president when he was on the campaign trail. As Freedom Daily previously reported, when Obama was being interviewed by a reporter in Nevada, it had to be cut short due to the swarm of flies surrounding Obama. Let's make this go viral, share this on Facebook and Twitter and let us know what else you think. And don't forget to help support us by subscribing and joining us on Patreon by clicking on our Patreon link in the description box down below. Don't forget to check out our all-new website with much more content than on this YouTube channel. If you are seeking the best in facial and clear skin regimens and products and so much more including an opportunity to work from home, please visit our partner, the link is in the description box below. Let the world know your thoughts on this story. Sources News helped contribute to this report. Thanks for watching and goodbye from all of us here.